Okay, so this is a video for the special right triangles, 45, 45, 90, and 30, 60, 90. So this, these shortcuts are actually derived from the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, basically, what happened was that <clears throat> a pattern was recognized that anytime you have two 45 degree angles in a right triangle, um, which means two sides, if two angles are the same, two sides will be the same. So if you have two sides on a right triangle that are both the same, this side always ends up being the square root of two larger than this side. So for instance, if I did the Pythagorean theorem to find C, C squared would be equal to x squared, which you don't know, times uh, plus x squared equals c squared. So it's going to be 2x squared equals c squared. And when I combine like terms, this is really 1x and 1x. Taking the square root of both sides, we get um, the square root of 2 times the square root of x squared. I'm going to write it separately like this because you can see that here, a square root would cancel out with the square. So really, x is by itself, and then you just have the 2 under the radical. Okay, so c is always equal to the square root of 2 times whatever the legs were. So on a 45, 45, 90, um, no matter what value you put in, because either are going to be the same, that's always going to be the square root of this is going to cancel out with the square here, and you'd have just x outside of the radical, because again, the square root of any number squared. So let's say we take, like, for instance, 4, no, let's not do 4, because 4 is, so it's 5 squared. If we square 5 square root, square it back, it gives us 5. So if our number here was originally 5 for x, and we square it, and then we square root that to get rid of the radical, it just tells us that it's 5. So the square root of any square number is just the number that you originally had. So the leg, whatever it is, is equal to the other leg. These are both going to be the same. And the hypotenuse is always going to be the leg's length times the square root of 2 for any right triangle where there's a 45, 45, 90 degree. So we can derive some formulas from that. So we know leg equals leg. If you're given one leg, the other leg is the same. The hypotenuse is equal to the leg times the square root of 2, which we just said here, and we showed why. And if we solve this equation for L, I'm going to show you that on here. So H equals L radical 2. If I wanted to get L by itself and solve this um, equation for L, literal equations, I would divide both sides by radical 2 here. So if I flip these, I just so that's easier to write, L is equal to H over radical 2. But it's improper form to leave a radical in the denominator, so we would multiply this by radical 2 over radical 2. It's called rationalizing the denominator. We're not changing the number, or the value of the number. We're just changing the presentation of it. So this is really 1 in disguise. So any number on the denominator as a radical, we can multiply it by that by over itself, which is just 1. But that will get us h radical 2 over the square root of 4, or radical 4. But the square root of 4 is a perfect square of 2, so h radical 2 over 2 would be what L equals. Okay, so this is going to be a shortcut rather than having to do this every single time. So the leg is equal to the square root, um, the hypotenuse times the square root of 2 divided by 2. And we're going to use those formulas to figure out any missing side that we need. Alright, so on number 1, we have a leg given. You do want to identify if it's a leg or a hypotenuse. Alright, so we have a leg given, which means the other leg is equal to that. So x is equal to 8. If I want to find the hypotenuse, I'm plugging in to this formula, and I'm plugging in 8 for L, because 8 was L. So my answer is 8 radical 2 for this side. So these two sides would be 8, this would be the square root of 2 larger than that. Why? 2 is the same thing. <clears throat> So number 3, this is hypotenuse because it's across from the 90. And the legs are the two sides that border the 90. So this would be a leg and this would be a leg. So I already know the hypotenuse, but I'm looking for a leg. So I want to know what the leg is, so I'm going to use the formula for leg. And 19 is my hypotenuse, so I'm going to plug in 19 for h. So these are my legs, 19 radical 2 over 2. 
And 19 doesn't divide evenly. Uh, 2 doesn't divide evenly into 19, so we could just leave it as 19 radical 2 over 2. That's the gist for the 45, 45, 90. Then we have another case where there's angles are 30, 60, and 90. So again, this was recognized that every time you have a 30, 60, 90 degree angle, there's a certain ratio for the re relationships of the short leg, long leg, and hypotenuse. So the short leg, which is across from the 30 degree angle, we're going to abbreviate SL for short leg. The long leg, which is across from the 60, is equal to the short leg times the square root of 3. So it's whatever length this is times the square root of 3. And the hypotenuse, which is always across from the 90 degree angle in the picture, is the short leg times 2. All right. So if we were to develop some formulas for these, Well, we already know the short leg. So we already know the short leg is equal to SL. That's what we call it. So anytime you have a short leg, it's equal to itself. I'm not going to start there. So the long leg is equal to the short leg times radical 3. So that's one formula you would be using if you're trying to find the long leg and you know the short leg. If we solve this equation for, sorry, this is SL. If we solve this equation for the short leg, we do what we did before, and it looks exactly like this one started off as, so it's actually going to have the same rule except for these are going to be threes. But if I divide both sides by radical three to get the short leg by itself, I have the short leg equals long leg divided by radical three. That would be my answer, except for that I can't leave the radical in the denominator, so I have to what we call rationalize this. Multiplying it by the square root of three over itself turns it into long leg radical three, so you multiply straight over over the square root of 9. The square root of 9 is a perfect square of 3. So anytime you type in the square root of 9 in your calculator, you're just going to get a whole 3. So this part would become long leg radical 3 over 3. That's what the short leg equals. So that's our formula um, for short leg. And then the that's the formula involving this one. And then if we use the second equation, hypotenuse is equal to 2 times the short leg. That's the equation we start with. So if I solve this for SL, SL equals hypotenuse divided by 2. And I can leave the 2 in the denominator here. It's not a radical. So these are my four equations. And it depends on what you're looking for, which one you're going to use. So if we look at number 4, we know the 30 would be here since this is a 16 and 90. So this side would be the short leg. Across from the 90 is always the hypotenuse, and this would be our long leg. So in this problem, we need the hypotenuse, so we need to use a hypotenuse formula, and we need the long leg, so we need to use the long leg form. So the hypotenuse is equal to 2 times the short leg. So we look at the short leg was 5, times it by 2, the hypotenuse is going to be 10. The long leg is equal to the short leg times the square root of 3, so to get the long leg, we times this by the square root of 3, and we're done. Okay, for 6, so 5 is the same as that, they give you the short leg, so you're doing the exact same thing, but I'm going to let you try that on your own, and I'll post the answers on the website. Uh, number 6, this time they give us, if we label these sides, so go ahead and pause it, see if you can label all the sides on each of 4 through 9 as H, S, L, and L, L. Making sure you can identify the short leg, long leg hypotenuse. That's super important to be able to get the right letters in the right spots. Okay, so when you come back, this should be short leg, long leg, hypotenuse. So this time we're given the hypotenuse, but we want to find the short leg. So if we're trying to look for the short leg, we're going to use either one of these equations. We don't know the long leg, so we don't use that equation. We'll use this one. So the short leg is equal to the hypotenuse, which is 32 divided by 2. So it's going to be 16. And then the long leg is equal to the short leg times radical 3. So this would be 16 radical 3. Okay, so these four equations will get you through all of the problems um, rather quickly, if you can memorize them. Okay, on number 7 is like 6, so we'll go to 8. And we'll do 8 and 9. So this one, they give us 
you should have already written these in, so short leg, long leg, hypotenuse. So feel free again to pause it if you haven't already and come up with which legs are which um, on your own. So this time we're looking for the short leg and we only know the long leg, so we're gonna use, there's two short leg equations, but we don't know the hypotenuse, so we wanna use this equation. So the short leg is equal to the long leg, radical three over three. So if we plug in 20 here, the short leg is 20 radical 3 over 3. 20 divided by 3 doesn't simplify nicely, so we leave it as a fraction. Then the hypotenuse is 2 times the short leg. So if we multiply this, what we just got by 2, only the 20 changes, so it's going to be 40 radical 3 over 3. All right, and then 9, they give us the long leg again, but this time they give it to us as a radical. So a couple things you want to be able to identify. If you, if you can see that this is a radical, when we plug it in, we can actually use the long leg equation because 9 radical 3 is the long leg and we're looking for the short leg. So if you recognize that this matches and this is the long leg, then the short leg has to be whatever number is in front of this. So basically, if I divide both sides by radical 3 here, the radical 3's cancel, and SL is equal to 9, which is the short leg. If that didn't make sense, then you would just use the long leg formula. So, I mean, the formula to find a short leg given the long leg. So you would use short leg equals long leg radical 3 over 3. So it equals 9 radical 3, radical 3. Because 9 radical 3, this part is just the long leg. So you still need the radical 3 and then over 3. 9 over 3 simplifies to 3, and then 3 times 3 simplifies to 9. So you have 3 radical 9. The 3 radical 9 is really 3 times 3 because the square root of 9 is 3. So then the short leg is 9. And now to find the hypotenuse, we just need to multiply the short leg by 2, and that's 18. I'll do two on the back, um, 17 and 24. All right, just picked random two. Okay, so this one is a 45, 45, 90, so we're going to have a leg, leg, and a hypotenuse. And we're looking for a leg. So if you would just reference your formula sheet that I gave you in class, if you um, are looking for a leg, you're going to use this bottom formula. So the leg is equal to h radical 2 over 2 and h in this case is radical 10. Okay. So we get that um, l is equal to radical 20 if we multiply it over 2. From the geometric mean section we know that 20 breaks down into 4 times 5 and the square root of 4 is 2 so this is really 2 radical 5. So I can write 20 as 2 radical 5 over 2 and the 2's will cancel so it's just radical 5. Okay. That one was really involved, that's why I kind of picked that one. Um, most of them you don't have to simplify the number. Under the radical, it doesn't simplify. Okay, but pause it, run it back if you need to for that example. Um, and then 24. If I try to do the top triangle first, I don't have any sides. I don't have the legs, I don't have the hypotenuse. So I really can't solve this one because I don't have any information given, which means when I try to do an equation, I'll have each H and L still in the equation. So that's no good. So on the bottom triangle, I would start with that. So I have a short leg because it's a 30, 60, 90, a long leg and a hypotenuse. And I'm given the long leg. So if I want to find the short leg, it's equal to the long leg, radical 3 over 3. So the short leg, if I plug in 18 for the long leg, is 18 radical 3 over 3. 18 divided by 3 can be simplified to 6, so 6 radical 3 would be the short leg. The hypotenuse, if you look at the formulas, is twice as big as the short leg, so you have 12 radical 3 for the hypotenuse. They don't ask for that. They want the x and y here, so back to the 45, 45, 90 triangle, I'm going to put a line. If you're looking for a leg, the formula is h radical 2 over 2, and h is 12 radical 3. 
12 divided by 2 turns into a 6, and 3 times 2 is 6, so your answers for both legs are 6 radical 6. Okay. But use the formulas on the reference sheet that I gave you um, if you're not understanding the... This is just another way to explain it than what it did in class, um, just because... Um, some people didn't understand it. But if you can understand the concept of like the short leg times 2 is a hypotenuse and the, the long leg is the square root of 3 times that, then you don't have to even do all of this work. Sometimes it's just going to be pretty easy to get it without the work. <laughs>